Hey guys, uh, this is a nice little Christmas treat for me. It's Christmas Eve today. Not only do I have new toys to play with in the uh, in the form of a $500 professional audio setup, so I hope we'll finally see an end to our audio issues. I've bit the bullet, but also the car. This is the Dynan S3 M235i. It's got the full kit on it. It's got engine, it's got intercooler, big turbo, it's got the exhaust, the intake, uh, the turbo is not an M4 turbo, uh, it is an aftermarket turbo, and because this kit is not quite production yet, they won't tell me what it is. Uh, it's also got springs, sway bars, the bump stop kit, uh, it's got the BBS wheels, which are made for Dynan 19 inches, Pilot Super Sport tires, uh, and of course Dynan's uh, exhaust, and uh, some trim bits around the car. Basically, this is, uh, this is some, I hope it's a, a vibe of what the M2 will be like when it's out. Um, beautiful day up here. It was raining a bit last night, but uh, we're going to have some fun. Sport Plus mode, manual mode. Okay, here we go. We're going to run Ensign All. <coughs> I've, uh, I've been driving this thing around uh, in the city for two days now. My first time in the canyons with it, but in the city... Uh, it's really nice. It's refined. The exhaust isn't too loud. It, uh, it tells you something's there, but it doesn't drone. Uh, it's actually quite nice. It's uh, in comfort mode. It is a totally livable package. I do recommend using the different modes, actually, because especially with the automatic gearbox, they give the car a completely different character. Uh, with the ZF8 speed in this thing, it can be an automatic around town and you'll be in eighth gear by like 40 miles an hour if you're not uh, on it. But look at this. Very, very quick. And when you are on it, the gearbox shifts. I mean, look, it's not quite dual clutch fast, but you're talking this to this. It's very responsive. It blips properly. It's uh, a, a really nice alternative, actually. Uh, the car also obviously has the limited slip diff in this uh, this particular one. So the power delivery of a big turbo car, what you're going to see is there is a little less power down low, a little more power up high, and that power will come on like a traditional turbo car, not so much like uh, BMW's you know, out of the box, flat torque curve tune. So you do lose a little bit down low, but what you get back up top is very, very impressive. Quick, really quick. I cannot tell you how fast that was, but it was a good number. Oh, it's damp on this side. Pilot Super Sport tires. Roads got a bit of a washing yesterday. The ride is really nice, the, uh, the springs and uh, sway bars tighten it up a little bit, but they don't punish you for it. You don't really feel like you've sacrificed much. The only downside I would say is in uh, a couple of situations, I've scraped that front lip going in and out of driveways and on speed bumps. It is rather low, but the car doesn't bottom out other than that one little, uh, that little lip. Throttle response in Sport Plus is really really on off switchy let's go just down to sport regular sport for a second and see yeah the first little bit of throttle in sport mode you can modulate a little easier in regular sport and not sport plus shift times are yeah, still about the same closes makes no difference I'm sure uh, you know, I haven't, uh, I haven't got pricing yet because, like I said, this is not quite a production-ready kit. We're getting a little sample session here. But uh, it's probably not going to be cheap. Um, Dine-in stuff it usually isn't. And uh, flip around right here. But you get your warranty, uh, you get your power, and daily drivability. Okay, the question most of you are going to ask in the comments is, how does it compare to that absolutely nutty Dynan 1M I drove two years ago? Okay, that car has a shorter wheelbase, uh, that car is stick shift and it has short gearing as well. So it, it was manic, that thing, it really, the back wanted to move around a lot. Um, this car, 
with the automatic gearbox, which allows you to keep your hands on the wheel and focus on other things, um, not have to worry about how you could upset the chassis with a misshift. Uh, it also has a longer wheelbase, so mistakes are uh, are, are re uh, not reduced, but um, oh, minimized. Uh, the, the, the chassis can cover up some things a little bit, whereas every little motion in that 1M creates movement in the car. This car's a little forgiving. It's more forgiving. Still, it's really, really quick, though. This is a very fast car. Got to wind it out. And it's well matched to the automatic. I, it's not that I wouldn't get this kit on a manual car. I definitely would, but it is well matched to this automatic. I just love this thing because it's the right size. To me, the M4 is too big. It's just a, it's a big car. Um, and yeah, it's heavy, but the heaviness doesn't do the do bother me so much. It's really just the size of it. This car is the right size for a coupe that occasionally will carry more than two people. It doesn't really need to be any bigger than this. And so uh, I, I like the idea of this car with M4 power more than I like the M4. Uh, this uh, 320i here, I don't think will let me buy. Maybe they will, I don't know. Are they gonna be nice? Should we have a prayer? Everyone bow your heads. Prayer, prayer, prayer prayer no okay well we'll have to find somewhere else to uh to pull off and make a gap like maybe right here we'll be back in a second Up here. Okay, here we go. Oh, definitely getting wheel spin out the back in uh, third gear. <laughs> it makes a lot of power. And uh, although it does have good tires, uh, because the body is not widened from the standard uh, 235i, you know, there's only such a big tire you can fit under there without widening the car like they're doing for the M2. So uh, 265 is what you get in the back. Uh, adequate, uh, unless you're trying to do uh, full throttle pulls on a somewhat of a damp road. And then you can blow the tires off several gears. Oh good, you're going right, I'm going left. With these eight speeds though, even with the paddles, sometimes you, gotta, you realize you gotta do six downshifts. Oh, there's wheel spin. car so quick effortlessly quick uh, confidently quick it doesn't really lose uh, composure so much oh my god this car does not have a big brake kit on it as the standard uh, the the brakes that come with the 235i I would maybe recommend something bigger Dynan is not one usually to deliver cars that aren't adequately braked, and, and this these will work, but I feel like this car is capable of speeds where the brakes might not be able to keep up. Beautifully sunny on this part of the hill. Yeah, brake pedal gets a little soft there. Wouldn't want to end up on the side of a cliff here. Right there, bumps mid-corner, look. Car's not upset at all. Yeah, back end moved around a little bit there. So what I'm saying is, I mean, yeah, look, the M2 is coming out in a year. So if you are the kind of person that, you know, would rather something officially straight out of the factory, maybe that's what you want. On the other hand, maybe the... M2 isn't going to be different enough for you. Maybe you want something that's like an M2, but now maybe you want to tell your insurance company you drive a 235i and not an M2. Maybe you've already got a 235i and you want to take it to the next level. 
lot of options here for this car. The engine clearly can make the power. I mean, there, there are many comparisons to be drawn here between this car and something like a fourth generation Supra. Uh, the handling improvements of the last 10 years are noted, but uh, this car is four inches more wheelbase uh, and the same wheel width as a Supra. And then you also have got a big turbo in line six making Supra-like power. Um, you know, for a road car, 500 horsepower Supra is a really fast car. Uh, it only becomes more important to get more if you're runway racing. This is, this is like that. If you had a Supra and you wish something existed that was more Supra-like today, this is a good option for you. And it's a better car. Do many downshifts. So uh, this was uh, this was rather nice here. Look, Oop, no scrape there. This was rather nice. It's a good day for a drive, and uh, this car is really good. So if you're interested in this package for your car, you're gonna want to check out DiningCars.com. And uh, thank you to them for uh, for bringing me this ridiculously fun toy. And uh, thank you to you guys for watching. And I hope that uh, the audio <laughs> improvements are where we want them. Uh, see you guys next time.